Amen. We thank and praise God for all things that have transpired thus far. You may be seated in the presence yes. of the Lord. We thank and praise God for all things that has transpired thus far. We give him all the glory. We do give him all the honor. Yes, God. And do we do give him all the praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's good generation of praise another hand. Amen. We thank God for each gift that was rendered unto the Lord today. Let's give it us to David and just the glory of heaven. Leading us in such a wonderful worship. Amen. Today. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I mean, you just have to pay attention to the words of the songs. That's all you got to do is pay attention to the words. Of the song. And for this is not an accident. Yeah. Yeah. I am alive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because there's so much more. Yeah. In other words, God has a plan for your life. Yes, God. Hallelujah. And that, that song was letting you know if the enemy would have had his way. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I praise you today. Yeah. Hallelujah, I would have been dead a long time ago. But all to the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. And sometimes you just gotta have a flashback and look over your life and see where the Lord brought you from. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but He brought me from a mighty long way. Church, and he said, You're alive for me because there's so much. 
And you gotta think about where the Lord found you. Because you didn't find him. Unless some of you think you found the Lord. But the Lord was never lost. He found you. I was seeking deep in sin. Oh, my God. 
Y'all go ahead and sit down. I'm telling you, the God we serve, He's a mighty good God. Hallelujah. He's a mighty good God. And all of this harmonizes with the word today. I'm telling you, it harmonizes so perfectly. With what the Lord had given unto me to give unto you. And I'm just going to read the scripture and. And musicians, y'all might as well get in position. We might as well just praise our way right on out of here. Hallelujah. Because God is a mighty good God. He is Mighty God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to side with the word of the Lord today. Luke 23. Beginning at verse number one, I thank God for each and every one of you all. Likewise. Hallelujah. Likewise. Thank God for the saints of God everywhere. Yes. Thank God for the oh, ministering yes. brothers yes. standing on the wall Amen. declaring this great gospel. Hallelujah. In darkness. Yes. Hallelujah. And truly, we are in the evening time. Amen. Oh, but the songwriter said, There shall be light. Yes. Yeah. 
probably made up his mind that I'm not going to condemn him that is guiltless. And I'm not going to charge him foolishly. He said, I'm not, I have to set the record straight and I got to be very clear that there is no fault yes, sir, yes, in this sir. man. Let me tell the church of the Lord Jesus Christ something today. There might be fault in the preacher or not in the Holy yes, Spirit. And there might be fault in the first lady. But let me tell you something. There's no fault in Jesus. And I know some of you might have been hurt by the church. But let me tell you something.
what the church of it is. We let our countenance sink. Hallelujah. We let the joy become the pivot when we start going through stuff. But can I tell you something, brothers and sisters? When you start going through things and your back is up against the wall, if you never shouted before, it's the time to shout. To see if you will trust a God that is perfect. Yes, God. But, but, but the enemy, the enemy trips us up. And the enemy fools us. And he gets us horn winked and bamboozled. And he allows us to become depressed. He allows us to walk around with the, the spirit of heaviness. He allows us to forget. Hallelujah. And that's why you always have to remember what the word of God said. That's why David said, your word I hid in my heart. In order that I might not sin against you. That's why you don't like to read your Bible. Or to start reading your Bible. But you got to tell the story until the end. The Lord delivers him out of the Lord. There's no problem that you're going through. Yeah. That God won't deliver. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. There's a trick of the enemy to tell you you'll always be like this. You'll always go through this. You'll never make it out. But if you'll never make it out, sister, they tell you. If you'll never make it out, brother Jeffrey, then that means God is a liar. Yeah. Because God said no weapon. God is formed against you. And shall prosper. The weapon might fall. But it just won't win. The yeah. weapon might fall. But it just won't prosper. And God, I please you. Yeah. Son of God. 
take yourself off the cross and get us down to if thou be the son of God see when 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 you don't know who Jesus is you can make those types of disclaimers if if you be God bring me up if you be God deliver my family if you be God save my soul I done got away a long time ago from that if you be God because I know who's God and I say Lord And my conscience is clear. Brothers and sisters, I'm not guessing. No, sir. No, sir. I'm not wondering. I'm not trying to figure him out. Hallelujah. I know he is. Hallelujah. I know who he is. Yes, sir. Just who he said he is. Amen. Amen. And sometimes it takes experience to bring you to the conclusion. It's like the centurion that stood by, that saw the Lord die, and he saw darkness cover the face of the earth. And when he saw the earth responding to the death of the Messiah, he said, Truly! the son of God. In other words, he said he was who he said he was. Yeah. Other folks were doubting him, but he was who he said he was. But I can add to the Sertorian today, not only who he was, but he is. 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 That you know that you know that you know. Sure. And some of you today need to wash your hands like Pilate. Sure. And some of you need to clear your conscience today like Pilate. And you need to make that declaration. I find no fault. No find no fault in him. Sickness and disease might be racking your body right now. But you got to make the declaration, I find no fault in him. Because sickness and disease might afflict my body temporarily. But I know the God who set out to give me all thy iniquities. And here is the witnesses in here. And here is the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And last time I checked, all means all. That's a God got this thing covered. Yes, he, he got it covered yes. from the beginning to the end. Amen. Whatever disease that arises up in the years to come, God got his number. So let me tell you something. Even in 2020, God can heal Corona. Yes. I praise you. Even in 2020, God can heal from cancer. Whatever it is, all of it means. There's no sickness that God can deliver. And I don't care what you call it, what you name it, and I don't care if they don't have a vaccine or a pill for it. There's power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. And that's what they need. They need a blood transfusion. They need a blood transfusion. Because it's power. There's no sickness too great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no sickness too great. And I don't care what it is. 
because a lot of these folks are, are cloaking a lot of these diseases and a lot of these sicknesses and try and say, well, that ain't nothing but a mental illness. Oh, y'all didn't help me preach that. It's a mental illness. And there is nothing for a mental illness. Who told you that? Because there was a man in the Bible. He may call it a lunatic. He was walking in the tombs. Butt naked. Oh, y'all didn't help me preach. Butt naked. Cutting himself with stones. But one day Jesus. Oh! <laughs> 
Because when you're kicking back and you're fighting back, what ends up happening is you got to flee. That's right. That's right. You got to go. And then when he leaves, 